So I've never owned an Android TV box before. I've always rocked with Amazon, uh, the Fire Stick and the Amazon Fire TV thing, right? Uh, but I realized that a lot of people don't have access to Amazon where they are. So I guess that's why you need an Android TV box. This one is an Android TV box made by Evanpo. Android 7.1 TV box, uh, quad core, dual band, Wi-Fi, all kinds of stuff, man. It's got a remote in here. You know what? It's 4K, blah, blah, blah. I'm just looking at the stuff on Amazon. Let's open this thing up, see what it looks like. Let's slide this open. Don't want to disrespect nothing. God, this box looks nice and I don't want to disrespect it. Okay, so right off the top, we are presented with the box itself. It is an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute, that's a sextagon? Uh, what is this? <laughs> a sextagon, sextagon. <laughs> Anyways, that's the box. <laughs> and then we got some accessories here. We got uh, the AC outlet plug. Let me go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go into my office and we're gonna plug this up to my uh, my monitor. Actually, my monitor is not a real computer monitor. It's actually a, I think it's a 24 inch um, uh, LED TV that I use as a monitor. Why would anybody do that? Cause I can, that's why, it just works. All right, so let's see. We got, oh, the box just coming apart. All right, so we got the remote right here. Um, Open this up. Are there any batteries in here? Are we gonna get lucky? Let's see. Man, it's a pretty flat remote. It's got some brushed material right here. All right, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it has everything you'll need and then some other stuff, man. I wonder if this is actually a universal remote because it's got volume control on here. It's got some stuff that regular remotes have. It doesn't look like just your standard uh, Android TV or Amazon even remote. All right, did we get batteries? Nope, no batteries. What's up with that, Evampo? But you do get a, um, wow, cool. I like it when they include all the stuff, except the batteries. Um, they do give you a an HDMI cable, which I can appreciate. So we got a USB in right there. I might end up hooking up my Android wireless keyboard to this. Uh, you got your, um, Man, your LAN wire plug-in right there, then you got an optical input. What? So you can get some good crispy sound out of there. There's your power input, your DC, or I'm sorry, your AC input, or DC input. I think that's DC, AC converter, whatever. Uh, then you got your HDMI, then you got an AV out. Um, I don't know why you would need that if you, well, okay, whatever. I'm using HDMI. And you got another USB, and then you got an SD card. All right, let me see here. But all your wires are gonna be kind of flared out. So that's something to be mindful of. They're gonna flare out. Like if you have it, <clears throat> if you have it facing you like it is right now, your wires are, might flare out a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna bother you as far as aesthetics go, you know, the wires flaring out this way if you got something hooked up to it. But at least the HDMI cable is back there and the, um, and the power input is back there. So it's directly in the back. So you can like, you know, just have it draped over your counter or whatever you set this on. Anyways, there ain't much else to see here, man. We gotta go hook this thing up downstairs in the office. Let's roll. All right, here we go. At this time, I would like to give a special shout out to Beatman Electric here in Houston, Texas. Uh, they came in here. Let me tell y'all, they, uh, they installed these these uh, recessed lights into my office, man, because at first all I had was this one right here. Oh my God, it was so dim and dark in here. They installed lights in my kitchen, they installed lights in this office. Now my whole house is lit up like, uh, like a freaking tanning bed. And it's awesome how we can see. And I don't even have to like make crazy adjustments on my camera or bring down my spotlight so y'all can see this stuff. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. All right, I got this box in my hand. Very small, compact box. Um, got my HDMI cable right there. Got your hook up, bam, it's right there. Let me slide this in the slot. I told you it was a TV that I used for my monitor. I actually, I actually had this set up twice. I have one in my office at my studio and one here at the house. I don't know if this cord is going to be long enough to reach. It is not very long. This is about a three foot cord, man. It's about as long as your cell phone uh, charging cable that you get. But uh, we're going to see if we can make this work. So I got everything all plugged up and uh, ready to go. Uh, it was a quick boot up 
and we got some stuff already present. We got the KD player uh, present over here. So it looks like you need an account for this. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and sign up for it right now. So let's go ahead and back out of that. All right, so if we're back home. So we got a, a full internet browser here. Oh, wow. I mean, this is like straight up full internet browser, which is very cool. All right, let's go back to home. Uh, then you got your collection of apps. So I went ahead and signed into the Google Play Store. Uh, so let's go in here and look at the Google Play Store so I can show you how that looks on here. Okay, so right now it looks like I'm actually doing this on a tablet or my phone. And you can just navigate through here just like you would normal. Uh, let's see some gameplay from one of the games. I went ahead and downloaded um, Fairway Golf or Fairway Solitaire. Now, I don't know how to play Solitaire, man. Excuse me, I'm one of them cats who just never bothered to learn how to play. I'm navigating through this with my Android keyboard. It actually has a keyboard on one side and a mouse pad on the other. So it just kind of makes navigation easier. Uh, when you're doing stuff like this. Uh, it does come with the remote and the remote works just fine for everything, but sometimes you just wanna have a mouse click. I'm just gonna click these little things right here. <laughs> it's telling me which one to do. So I really don't know what I'm doing. But um, yeah, everything seems to be moving fine. It's handling this game really well. At some point I might need to download a more uh, power intensive game just to see how it performs there. But on these, you know, time waster type of games, it seems to be performing really well. So let's go ahead and go to the home page. And uh, here we got some music. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can download. Um, I'm pretty sure you can download Google Play Music on here if that's what you're using or uh, it actually has a spot for like Spotify and all that. So any Google app will actually download on here. I think I just triggered my Google Home. Okay, um, let me see what this video is. Okay, so we got Netflix. So let's go ahead and go into Netflix real quick. So I've signed into my Google account. So I guess it logged me into all of my Google services. Is that what's happening here? Okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's logged me into everything. I don't know what this is, evil genius. Um, let's let's um, let's watch a little bit of the office, just a little bit. I don't want to get flagged or anything, just to see how things look. Takes a little while to load, but that's due to my internet connection. That is that looks nice. Um, wow. Okay, the picture is cleaned up and it is good. Wow, 60 hertz. There we go. Let me get out of here real quick because I don't want to get this video flagged. Um, but the video from my end looked really good once it cleaned up and you know all the. I guess once my internet speeds it kicked up, but uh, at 60 hertz, that was a nice picture, man. I want to go back into it, but I don't want to get flagged. That was really cool. Let's go into YouTube. Well, YouTube won't be at 60 hertz, but let's go into YouTube. Let's see how that looks. That picture was really good. I was very impressed. Okay, let's sign into my Just Doing Life account, and let's see what comes up. Okay, so this does not look like a typical Android app. It actually just looks like a like it would on your smart TV. So let's go ahead and press one of these. Let's go to one of my product reviews here. I'm sure that'll play just fine. All right, I am testing out some beard stuff and the video looks great. Look at that handsome face right there. <laughs> let's go back to home. Okay, so we're back at home, but you see all the stuff you can do here. You can always, you can download all your apps. You can watch all your Android uh, video streaming services through here and it works just fine. I think this is a great alternative to a Fire TV or a TV stick if you don't have access to Amazon or don't want to pay for it. Before we get out of here, let's go into settings real quick so I can show you what that looks like. So you can set up your network there. Uh, I didn't click on sound. Ah, auto surround sound? Wow, okay. So we'll go back. Don't need to mess with that. We'll go into apps and screensaver. You can set all this stuff. You actually get 32 gig of onboard storage here. Yeah, it says 32 gig. You can factory data reset from here too. Uh, let's see here. You're about your date and time. I'm actually seeing uh, the time on the box there. It is inaccurate, so I guess you'll have to set it. Got some. You can add some Bluetooth devices here, like a set of headphones or something like that, or maybe even a keyboard. I'm actually, with my Android keyboard, I actually use the dongle that came with it. I plugged it into the supplied USB port, and it's working just fine. But so far, this seems to be a really great product. I'm actually impressed with the video quality that I just saw with the office, and that was streaming from Netflix. But look, I ain't claiming to be no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews. But before I get out of here, y'all make sure you go ahead and tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.